Hello, and this is a video review for Lego Marvel Super Heroes set number 76039, the Ant-Man Final Battle set. Um, so to start off, we'll take a look at the instructions um, here. Just move this back a bit. So it's a, it's a relatively simple build. Um, in total, there are... 58 pages of building well or 57 if you don't count the um, the super jumper page um, you've got the list of parts as usual um, some advertisements for the other sets in the back some more advertisements Lego Club that sort of stuff so that's the uh, the instruction manual. Now there's an interesting thing about this set. Um, there's actually a problem um, and the set was delayed. Um, but you probably know this but um, for those who don't know the set was delayed um, and there was they had to add Lego had to call back the sets and add some extra pieces for the legs um, and uh, change the instruction manual a little bit. Um, and I'll, I'll explain a bit more about that later on. Um, but yeah, you do also get um, a little comic um, as well, an Ant-Man comic. And then if you flip it over, it's also a Spider-Man comic as well. So, just give a quick... I'm not going to spend too much time on the comic, just a quick flick through it. You know, it's just it's, there's no words in it, it's just pictures, but... It's uh, you know, it's nice. It's a nice little comic that you get. Um, but yeah, this set's really cool. The only problem is it's the only Ant-Man set that they're going to be doing, which is a bit of a shame. But there you go. Um, so yeah, first of all, let's take a look at this little uh, side thing you get, which is kind of one of the cooler parts of the set. Um, I would say, which is this little, um, this little thing here. As you can see, they're basically Lego bricks, bigger Lego bricks made out of smaller Lego bricks, which is really cool. Um, you've got Lego bricks to make up these screws, um, and they are stickers on there. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, it, the Lego logo here, the stickers. Um, but yeah, um, very cool. Um, it's a really nice idea um, to make it kind of scale, to make it look like the figures in that are shrunk down. Um, and stuff like that, it, you know, it works really well. Um, so what you do is you you load you load the screw into there, one of the screws, um, and then you just hit this, and then it should fire out. Um, depending on how hard you hit it, it will obviously go further. So um, yeah. Um, so that's that's that. It's a it's a cool little build. Um, I like it, um, and it, it looks really effective and really cool as well. So that's that. Um, the then onto the main thing itself, the actual ant, um, which again, um, an ant with wings, um, pretty cool, a nice build. Now, as I was saying about the extra pieces and stuff, uh, basically. Um, as you can see, there's these kind of extra cone pieces here on a small uh, on a small axle that goes into there. Um, basically, the original design was just the leg on its own going into there like that. And that's pretty loose. Um, it doesn't stand up as well. Um, like this, so they they added the extra pieces, um, updated the set basically, and added these extra pieces on all the legs, um, so that it, it it stands up a lot better, uh, which is which is good. Um, the they have also changed the instructions as well, so um, the instructions are now up to date for this new slight change to the design. Um, but that's basically what happened um, with the delay um, for the Ant-Man set. I know some people have um, got the original one with the 
um, looser legs and not the not got these extra pieces. Um, but yeah, um, if, I'm sure if you contacted Lego, they'd probably send you the pieces. Um, if not, you could always get another set. Um, um, but yeah, um, so yeah, I have to say though the the update with the updated pieces, the legs are a lot. They are a lot st more sturdy. You know, it doesn't it doesn't fall down as easily. Um, I have tried um, by taking out those and just leaving the legs straight on there, but um, it it collapses very easily. So yeah, it, it it's definitely a design improvement that. Um, but yeah, um, the you know the the detail on the ant um, is pretty cool. The you know you've got the little movable uh, you know kind of. Uh, antenna pincer type things at the front here and um, we can see the yellow eye and then there's one on the other side here we have Scott Lang I'll show the minifigures in a bit we've got Scott Lang riding the uh, ant here Ant-Man himself um, these wings are kind of a, a soft um, flexible plastic um, and you can you can see how they're attached um, and yeah it doesn't really do a lot. The legs aren't movable apart from swiveling like this, um, but the legs don't move, which is a bit of a drawback as well. But um, you know, you know, you can you, you can kind of move the legs a little bit to make it crouch um, a little bit more and, and stuff like that. So, um, but the legs don't actually move apart from swiveling about, which is a bit unfortunate, but still. Um, so that that is the the ant. Um, so the minifigures that you get, you of course get Scott Lang, the Ant-Man. Um, very, very cool. Printing on the torso is very, very cool. Um, the head, the, the uh, sorry, the uh, helmet piece here, very, very cool. Very nicely done. Only problem is... He's got a duplicated face. Now, I don't actually have this face myself, but I do know it's appeared in another set. Um, so, they've not... It, it, it is double-sided um, as well. But, yeah, it has appeared in another set. So, that's kind of a bit of a um, disappointment. But, you know. Um, so, there's the back printing. Very, very cool. So, that is Scott Lang... The Ant Man. Um, you do also get um, two little ants in addition, two little ants in kind of like a dark blue, and you do also get the actual size of, you know, the actual proper pieces of this, so the actual kind of size, I guess, um, of, uh, of this right here. So it's kind of nice that they include those little pieces as well. Um, Next minifigure is Hank Pym, and apparently he has a suit. Whether he does in the film or not, the movie, I don't know. Um, and, yeah, again, the printing is done very well. The helmet in an another colour to the other helmet, uh, again, very good. The only problem is he's got Gandalf's face. Um, again, it's double-sided, but, yeah, he's got... Gandalf's face. So they've reused two heads so far, um, which isn't good. Um, I'd much rather they made brand new facial expressions for both characters, um, but they haven't. So yeah, but anyway, there is the back of the figure. So yeah. The printing and the helmet, I just wish, you know, they'd given him... <sighs> I just wish they'd given him a different face instead of Gandalf. Same goes for Ant-Man as well. And then the final figure is the bad guy, the yellow jacket. And, uh, yeah, still carrying on with the faces. He has got, yeah, this face. So it is Lex Luthor... In the, uh, I'm sorry, it is the yellow jacket, <laughs> but basically it's Lex Luthor's, Loki's, and now the yellow jacket's face. So this is face has been used a lot. 
So all three of the minifigure heads in this set have been used before. Considering this is the only set as well, that's extremely, extremely disappointing. Um, but, you know, um, what can you do? It is what it is. Um, you've got this kind of cool backpack uh, going on with the uh, yellow jacket. With these uh, stud shooters here. Um, as well. Um, but you can, I guess you could take those off there if you want. And give them to him in his hand. Um, um, the only problem with the backpack is though. Um, you kind of have to lean him forward a little bit. Otherwise he doesn't stand up. So you can see he's kind of leaned forward a little bit. Or you could uh, put him on one of the uh, collectible minifigure base plates. Um, to, so he stands up a lot better. Um, but they, obviously they don't include one of those with the set. Um, so yeah, the printing here, again, brilliant. Um, went into a lot of work. They did a lot of work with the print here. And the helmet, again, the helmet is brilliant. Um, they just really did a good job on the helmet. So they did that, but then they decided to give him a used face. Same goes for Scott Lang and Hank Pym, or Henry Pym, whatever. Um, so, yeah, all three figures have all got previous minifigure faces. And considering, like I said, it's the only set, it's extremely disappointing. Um, and it, it, you know, it kind of feels a little bit cheap um, as well. Um, like, they couldn't be bothered to make new facial expressions for the characters, which is, again, not... Um, not very good, but it is only kind of like a £20 set, so, you know, um, I do wish they'd have um, made more Ant-Man sets. That is something I wish they'd do. Um, one more thing as well, is you do get one of the uh, Super Jumpers um, as well um, included. So that is pretty much the set overall. Um, it, it, it is cool. Um Considering it's the only Ant-Man set there is, I would definitely recommend picking it up, um, as it is the only Ant-Man set so far available um, to buy, um, because I know when it becomes discontinued, it will probably rocket in price, um, like the uh, the Deadpool, £20 Deadpool X-Men set that came out a couple of years ago. Um, now, Deadpool, the minifigure alone, is going for about £20, so, yeah. So, I, I would get it, um, just don't be too disappointed about the, uh, don't have high expectations for the faces, like I've said, because I've explained that they've um, used old faces, but, you know, the helmets and things and the print is absolutely top-notch, um, it's just the faces, That that is the one problem with the set everything else is absolutely fine um so yeah that pretty much uh, does it for this review um i hope you've enjoyed it i hope it's been useful to you um thank you very much for watching and please subscribe bye